Australians will get to decide who leads the country for the next three years when they go to the polls in a federal election on May 21. Key points. The election date sets up a six-week campaign which will pit Mr Morrison against Anthony Albanese. The election date sets up a six-week campaign which will pit Mr Morrison against Anthony Albanese. Mr Morrison admitted his government was not perfect, but that it was upfront. Mr Morrison admitted his government was not perfect, but that it was upfront. He urged the public to judge the government on what it had achieved during the last term. Prime Minister Scott Morrison locked the date in today after visiting the Governor General in Canberra. It sets up a six week campaign that will pit Mr. Morrison's Liberal National Coalition against a Labour Party led by Anthony Albanese. Mr. Morrison said he did not think his government was perfect, but that the public would judge it on what it had done over the last term. Our government is not perfect, we've never claimed to be, but we are upfront and you may see some flaws. But you can also see what we have achieved for Australia in incredibly difficult times," he said. You can see our plan. Our plan will deliver more and better jobs and the lowest unemployment seen in some 50 years. The Prime Minister was asked how he was feeling about the upcoming election, given the recent attacks on his personal character. Mr Morrison has been accused of being a bully and a liar by members of his own party, including Deputy Prime Minister Barnaby Joyce, claims he has denied. This election, others will seek to make it about me, but it's about the people watching this right now, Mr Morrison said. It's about them. What we've demonstrated over these past three years is the ability to make those decisions that has ensured that Australia's recovery is leading the world. In calling the election, Mr Morrison becomes the first Prime Minister since John Howard, more than 14 years ago, to serve a full term as the nation's leader. The coalition is seeking its fourth term in office, while Mr Albanese hopes to return Labour to government for the first time since 2013. Mr Morrison said voters would face a choice when they walked into the voting booth. He urged them to stick with a government they knew amid uncertain times, listing war in Ukraine, a lie pandemic and an economy recovering from recession as the biggest issues Australia was facing. The battle ahead. Mr Morrison's coalition begins the election notionally with 76 seats, the bare minimum for a majority government. Labor notionally has 69 seats, thanks to the creation of a new seat in Melbourne. The opposition needs four seats to get ahead of the coalition and seven seats for a bare majority. The ABC has tracked the travel of the leaders of Labor and the coalition since late last year. It offers a snapshot of where the campaign will likely be fought. Labor hopes to make gains in Western Australia, Queensland and Northern Tasmania, while the coalition is seeking gains in New South Wales and the Northern Territory. Mr Albanese has claimed underdog status as he seeks to return Labor to government. Stay up to date with the 2022 campaign Download the ABC News app and subscribe to our range of news alerts for the latest on the federal election. M to mute, left and right arrows to seek, up and down arrows for volume. Watch 4 minutes 54 seconds 4 minutes and 54 seconds the key battlegrounds in the 2022 federal election.